When you think of great American artists, which paintings come to mind? Perhaps the stark profile of Whistler's mother, or maybe the heartwarming scenes of small-town America depicted by Norman Rockwell. Then again, you may be a fan of Jasper Johns's modern depictions of the American flag. Or if none of these float your boat, then perhaps you've got a keen eye of the collector on the lookout for an original Hunter Biden. Yes, that's right. Joe Biden's son, Hunter, until best known as a raconteur, bon vivant, crack aficionado, and million-dollar-a-year oil and gas expert, has added another string to his bow. Artiste. And if the prices his art therapy class scribblings are expected to command are anything to go by, he's got quite a talent. Seems that Hunter Biden has signed on with the L.A. gallery of art dealer George Berger. And according to an interview in Artnet, his works, if that's the right word for them, will go for anything between 75000 and half a million U.S. dollars apiece. Not bad for a guy who not too long ago was dodging DNA tests to avoid paying child support to a stripper he knocked up, hey? Anyway, amazingly, there are some Philistines out there who don't appreciate Hunter Biden's art, even though it displays all the talent of a year 10 goth who's just dropped acid for the first time. Philistines like Walter Schaub, who ran the Office of Government Ethics. Hey, there's a contradiction in terms during the Obama administration. Here's what Schaub told CNN just three days ago. It just is implausible that this art from an unknown artist would be selling at this price if it didn't have the Biden name attached to it. The cachet that comes with buying this art is getting to say that you own art created by the president's son. Can you believe it? Some cynics out there think people might not actually be buying Hunter Biden's art for its beauty, poignancy, or insight into the human condition, but rather are using his canvases as a way to funnel money to the Biden family. These cynics point to revelations that the art dealer that this Dega of Delaware has hooked up with has, according to the New York Post, been closely tied to China. As the paper reported recently, Berges re regularly features works by Chinese artists and told a Chinese network that he was keen to open other art galleries in Beijing and Shanghai in 2015. And he's also lavished praise on China's role in the art world. He also once told Chinese Communist Party mouthpiece China Daily that the questions that I always had was how China is changing the world in terms of art and culture. Not only that, there's the whole little matter of the entire art world being rife with corruption. A bipartisan U.S. Senate report last year found that, quote, unlike selling stock or making routine bank transfers, art sales through auction houses are not subject to anti-money laundering provisions in the Bank Secrecy Act. When art is sold, according to the report, sellers are not required to confirm the identity of the buyer nor make sure the artwork isn't being used to launder dirty money. But here's White House spokesman Jen Psaki earning her keep with an answer about how Hunter Biden's newfound art career is in itself a work of art. That after careful consideration, a system has been established that allows for Hunter Biden to work in his profession within reasonable safeguards. Uh, of course, he has the right to pursue an artistic career, just like any child of a president has the right to pursue a career. Uh, but all interactions regarding the selling of art and the setting of prices uh, will be handled by a professional gallerist adhering to the highest industry standards. And any offer out of the normal course would be rejected out of hand. And the gallerist will not share information about buyers or professionals of buyers, including their identities with Hunter Biden or the administration, which provides quite a level of protection. Well, there you have it. Nothing to see there. Me, I'm just saving up for Hunter Biden's next big show. Maybe we'll put a bid on his next masterpiece, 10% for the big guy.